In this first demo we will show how AndyWire, the procurement officer at Innovate, can share content in a secure way with an external partner, which is Mark Diefenbruch working at CEB Berlin, one of Andy's vendors. Let's start with Andy Wired. Andy looks at the CEB Berlin vendor workspace. There is a folder external sharing and he starts sharing with Mark Diefenbruch, who is an external contractor of Innovate. So you can simply invite a persons by email address with a message. Once Mark Diefenburg is invited, he receives an email in his inbox with a link from OpenText Core that Andy Wyatt has shared a folder with him. He can click on this link, self-register and then um, sees the shared content. So there's a folder for CEB Berlin and there is a purchasing contract that Andy has shared with him. So let's look at these two places side by side. On the right hand side we see extended ECM, on the left hand side we see open text core. Andy can add additional documents to extended ECM workspace. Automatically these documents are synchronized just in a few seconds to open text core. If now Mark Diefenbruch works on this document, he locks the document for editing and we can see this checkout, this lock, also in extended ECM. So the content is always in sync. So is the status and the metadata of the content. So let's assume Mark Diefenbruch is now adding a new version of the contract with the review, with the changes that CEB Berlin wants to have in the contract. This new version becomes automatically available in the Innovate ECM system, which is extended ECM. So you see there is a, a, an additional version 2 which has been added. Also, the audit trail between OpenText Core and extended ECM is kept in sync. The second innovation demo is Core for SAP success factors. Here we show how Ralf Brunert, a people manager at Innovate, can check employee workspaces and find missing documents. Emma Dorn is one of Ralph's direct reports. She gets notified that an important document is missing. With a self-service functionality, she can provide the missing document. We start with Ralph Brunert. He's logging into SAP Success Factors. On the SAP Success Factors landing page, we see additional tiles. Open Text Core for SAP Success Factors has tiles for My Workspace, My Team Workspace, and Document Self-Service. So let's open the list of employees that are reporting into Ralph. Here we see Amber Dawn as one of Ralph's employees. And Ralph can identify that there are two documents missing here, the address document and the social insurance identification number. He can also have a look at the personal file, the dossier view of the personal file, which can be sorted to different, uh, different means. And there's also a report tile that again shows the missing documents. Ralph can open the employee workspace in the full view of Core for SAP success vectors. There is a function to generate the missing documents. So Ralph wants to generate the missing address document. He provides a date and clicks generate. And here the built-in document generation capability of Core for SAP success vectors is used to generate the missing documents. So now only one document is missing. The new document was automatically filed into the right workspace folder, which is personal details. So here we see the document that was generated before, the personal record with the updated address information. There's also search capability built into the document viewer. So now let's switch roles. Now we are Emma Dawn. Emma logs into SAP Success Factors to see her personal workspace. She clicks on my workspace and she sees that there is a missing document. She has been notified by HR that she should provide this missing document. So what she can do here is upload the missing document. She picks it from a local drive, selects the document type and the date of origin and based on the document type, the document has now been filed in the right folder um, automatically. And no document is missing anymore. 